Let's work a couple examples using the heat equation. So determine the heat loss by 3.5 kilograms of water when it cools from 30 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius. So when we do this, we just got to identify what we know and what we want to know, just like always. So we are given that we have a mass of 3.5 kilograms. We are told that it cools from 30 degrees to 10 degrees. So this tells us 10 minus 30 equals negative 20 degrees Celsius, so our change in temperature is negative. That means we should expect a negative Q because it's losing, not gaining energy. Uh, and we're also told it's water. And so since it's water, that means its specific heat is one kilocalorie per kilogram degree Celsius. So now we just use Q equals MC delta T, and we can figure out, wow, that's sloppy. We can figure out how much energy is gained or in this case lost by our sample of water. So we take 3.5 times 1 times negative 20. And when we do that, we get negative 70 kilocalories. So negative 70 kilocalories uh, means 70 kilocalories of heat is lost by the water to the surroundings. Similar problem, but we're going to solve for something a little bit different. Determine the specific heat of iron if 110 kilocalories are required to raise the temperature of 20 kilograms by 50 degrees. So now we're told uh, that our heat is 110 kilocalories. We are told the mass is 20 kilograms. We are told the uh, change in temperature is 50 degrees. And we are asked to find C, the specific heat of the iron. So same equation, Q equals MC delta T. and we just plug in what we know. So 110 equals 20 times C times 50, which means 110 equals 1,000 C. Divide both sides by 1,000, and we get 0.11 equals C. Now, what are our units on this? Well, we have kilocalories divided by kilograms and degrees Celsius. So our specific heat has units of kilocalories per kilogram degrees Celsius.